So there's loads of different batteries out there on the market for your uh, Cine Whoops and your Micros. Got a few to test today. Stay tuned and we'll find out which one we think is the best. How's it going folks? I uh, hope you're all keeping well. So we're out here today at uh, this office park. Uh, we're hoping it would be pretty quiet, but there appears to be a lot of cars parked around it. There's a uh, kind of country park just the other side of some of these buildings. So, you know, we might get a few people wandering around. Uh, anyway, today uh, <clears throat> we're following up on the last video, which was the review of the uh, Beta 95X V2. Um, uh, I've had a few people asking me questions about flight times and different types of batteries, which one should you use? Uh, and you know, I can't say which one you should use, but I have got a few different ones to test. Uh, so we can see uh, which different flight times we get, you know, whether they feel different because one's heavier than the other, that kind of thing. So I've got two different types of 450 milliamp batteries. Uh, that's a standard 16.8 uh, volt and, a, a, and an HV. And I've also got two different types of 650 uh, milliamp batteries. That's a Nanotech, uh, which is quite an old battery now, actually. Um, not old in terms of use, but old in terms of been on sale for a while. And the Tattoo 650 um, 75C, which it seems to be a pretty popular choice. So I'm going to try them on predominantly the Beta 95. So this little beauty, uh, we'll get this out. It's a little bit breezy today though, so I'm not sure how this is going to cope. Uh, and also I might, if we get time and we don't get moved on, uh, give them a try on this, which is my Chimera 4, uh, which I've built as a freestyle quad rather than a, a long range quad. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how they, um, how they fly uh, with a bit of a sort of freestyle approach. So we'll get into it now. We'll have a bit of a fly. I've uh, got a mate who's turning up at the moment, so I'll be all good in terms of spotters and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so uh, it's editing film now, and I fully intended to voice over these flights as I as I made them, um, but because I'm an idiot and I didn't do things properly, um, my Insta360 Go ran out, so I didn't get footage from most of the flights. Uh, I didn't want to bother with DVR footage because uh, nobody likes watching that anyway. And actually, as it turns out, I did pretty much the same flights with each battery. So it would have got pretty long and pretty boring. Um, so instead of that, I'll just sort of talk you through what I did and, uh, and the results that we got. So the intention was obviously to fly around fairly consistently, a couple of little punch outs here and there. Uh, nothing major though, because obviously these are cine whoop type flights. I set my uh, low battery warning to come on at uh, 3.5 volts per cell. So when it hits 14, I would start to head back towards the van. And as soon as that 13.9 um, and the low battery warning came up, I would then make a note of the time. And that would give us a, a view as to how well we'd done. Um, so across, the, across all of the flights, uh, I was reasonably consistent. Um, I, I was struggling with the wind the whole time. Uh, I've, I've shown this Insta footage in FPV stabilization mode so that you can see that it is getting knocked about quite a bit. Um, it's smoothed out a little bit, but um, otherwise it would be a bit jarring to watch. So to go through some of the results, um, essentially the 450 milliamp batteries, whether they were the standard 4S or the HV, uh, gave me around three minutes, 30 seconds flight time, pretty much dead on. Um, that's fairly consistent with uh, previous experience with those 450 batteries. Um, although it was a little bit less than I'd had previously, only by a few seconds, which is probably down to the wind, really. It was quite a windy day. Um, previous flights have been in similar temperatures, so I'm not really factoring the temperature in too much here, uh, but obviously on a warmer day, you get better flight times. In terms of the, H, the difference between HV and standard, nothing in it really, as far as I could tell from these basic tests. Moving on to the 650 batteries, um, the tattoo battery was really nice. It got plenty of punch, um, and you could tell you'd got a little bit more there in, in terms of uh, the flight characteristics. It was still quite light, so it was still getting moved around quite a bit by the wind. 
Um, I was getting four minutes of flight time out of the tattoo batteries, uh, which is pretty good, you know, and generally I'd be quite happy with those. Uh, the Nanotech batteries though, for some reason gave me longer flight time. They've got the same capacity, so it seems a little bit strange, uh, but consistently I was getting four and a half minutes with those Nanotech batteries. But, you know, it could have just been that they were a little bit more stable in the wind, uh, so they weren't having to fight quite so much. When we get to the conclusions in a second, you'll notice that I I, I sort of recommend the, the Nanotechs. Um, I think in hindsight, I'd probably recommend the Tattoo just because of their availability. Uh, but if you can get the Nanotechs, then you are going to get that extra bit of flight time according to these tests. Uh, they're not the most scientific tests in the world though, so use your judgment. Okay, we'll hand back to um, Phil in the field, or in the car park as it was. Well, there we go. We're all done. We tested them all out. Looks to me, the whole dirty nanotechs have uh, come out on top. Uh, four and a half minute flight time. That's pretty good, really. It's a pretty breezy little day today, uh, as you can probably see from my dodgy uh, goggle hair flapping about. So it's not ideal conditions to be testing with a little Cine Whoop, but it was significantly better. So we got, you know, the 450s gave us three and a half minutes, pretty solidly, pretty consistently, all the ones I tried, uh, whether they were HV or regular. Um, they're about the same price, so you might as well buy the HV ones, why wouldn't you? Uh, but you're not really going to get a great deal more out of them by the looks of things. Uh, 650s, the tattoo was nice. Um, it's nice and light actually for a 650. There's not much difference between that and the 450s actually. Um, but, uh, you know, you only get another 30 seconds of flight time with it. And then the Nanotechs, which are a bigger and heavier battery, um, you know, in these conditions, the quad felt a little bit more stable, a little bit more resistant to the wind, uh, and the flight times were four minutes, 30 seconds. So, uh, you know, they're not the easiest things to get hold of. Um, Hobby King are the only place really you can get the Nanotechs, maybe, maybe uh, eBay or something like that occasionally. Um, and they tend to be out of stock quite a lot. So, it's, you know, I'm, I'm recommending a battery you probably can't get hold of, which is, you know, pretty difficult to do. I've got a few, fortunately, from a while back, uh, and I bought some off a friend recently. So um, I'll be using them quite a bit. The 450s are great still. Uh, three and a half minutes is pretty admirable flight time for this kind of conditions. Uh, probably slightly nicer weather, you might get a bit more time out of that. Uh, and it is a bit cold today, so that's got to be a factor as well. Uh, all in all, I think that rounds it up. So hopefully that was really useful to you, or even slightly useful. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see. I uh, did manage to get out with the, the Chimera 4, so hopefully my Insta360 has not let me down, and we'll get some footage off that as well. Uh, maybe pop that up on a video at a later stage. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.